Okay, this is the, the uh, second tutorial of uh, my MySQL tutorials. Um, and in this one, I'm going to show you how to insert data into the database by using PHP. Um, so what I've just done is I've uh, got a blank PHP page and named it insert.php. Um, so what you need to do is I'm just going to create a variable called write, and because we're going to write to this database, and uh, we're just going to create a MySQL query. So MySQL underscore query, and inside here we are going to need um, um, your MySQL queries. So we're going to put insert if it's in capitals. Um, then that represents MySQL code, not PHP. Okay, so we're going to put insert into and insert into where we named it as um, MySQL underscore tutorial. MySQL underscore tutorial and the values we want to insert into here are going to be um, we've only got two two rows in here, two columns one was the ID and one was the actual colour um, from the previous tutorial if you've not already seen that one we created a database for colours um, so the ID we don't want to put anything for the ID because it is an auto increment it will go up e for each record we add and um, so the second one is what you want adding so I'm just going to put red take out capitals red okay so that's basically um, your write script but um, we also need to connect to the database before we, we can actually do anything so to do this um, you can actually have um, require a require function and this is going to be the connect.php so um, before any of the script runs it will it will find the connect.php file if it cannot find the php file the connect.php file then um, it will not run any of the other script so um, let's let's load up that uh, page I'm just going to uh, echo out here um, um, insert insert successful and I'm just going to add on here or die just in case uh, the script doesn't work um, couldn't add to database and we're just going to turn error reporting off so it'll be zero false um, so I'm just going to run this script now and see if uh, the color red was added to a database so if you load up that page um, into our PHP as you can see we have an error message here for line 7 um, right, I think we might need that in brackets try again refresh um, kind of add, well we've got both alright then so um, if I take away this um, insert successful connection successful um, because we already had connection successful on the hut there so if I go back to the database we should have um, a record or maybe two records because I pressed it twice um, no nothing's been added let me just uh, take a quick look I 
Right, there we go. I figured it, figured it out. Um, actually, I've tried it twice and it worked. Um, instead of putting your database name here, you would put your um, the uh, name of the column which we named as colors so as to red. So um, if I just get rid of um, I'll tell you what, if I put a paragraph break onto that, um, so if I now enter blue and refresh this page, um, instantly successful, I go back to this, if I just refresh this page, as you can see, blue has now been entered into the database, if I just uh, delete this one here, this one red, so we've got red and blue. Um, so that's how to input um, that line of code is how to insert data into the database manually um, and in the next uh, tutorial for MySQL I will show you how to delete records from, um, from the uh, database so I'll see you in the next part